The High Road is dedicated to the men and women of the United States Armed Forces, past, present, and future. Meet Keith Warren. As a 30-year veteran of the outdoor industry and devoted conservationist, the original Texas angler and outdoor television icon has hunted across America and around the world. Showing you big game, educating outdoorsmen, and uniting all hunters. That's Keith Warren. And this is The High Road. My name is Billy Reeves. I run a hog hunting operation out here north of Houston. It is a working cattle ranch and we do have a lot of hogs. Uh, we do any type of hog hunting that you would like. He's down at the rifle range sighting in his rifle getting ready for an evening hog hunt. This is the business end of the internally suppressed barrel. And on the end of it, this end cap comes off and, and if you ever need to know, a suppressed rifle is gonna to need to be cleaned just like, a, just like any other rifle. You need to clean it. And what happens is that the barrel that this Savage Model 10 rifle came with is basically inside this sleeve. And you think, well, look at it, look how pretty it is going up here. Look at, look at, well, they milled the forend. They, they milled it to where this suppressed barrel sits right inside the forend. And looking at it, it looks just kind of like it's a, a, a varmint rifle, like, it, like just a heavy barrel varmint rifle. So fully suppressed, 308 Model 10. I like it. Uh, Keith Warren's been out here quite a few times to do a little hunting. This time he come out, he's uh, gonna do a rifle hunt and it's got a suppressor on it. So I'm interested to see how that works. Okay, as far as optics go, this is a uh, BSA Majestic DX scope. It's a three and a half to 10 variable power scope. I know that looking at it, you would think, and, and almost everybody who picks one up, you know, will, will wind up go to uh, shows, consumer shows where people come by the booth and, and they're, they're picking them up. They can't believe that they're not heavy. I mean, it looks heavy, but it's not heavy. So, but we're gonna show you, show you how this shoots. I bet I know where this one's gonna hit. Absolutely amazing. All right, what we're gonna do, this is the very first time I'm planning on going to the field using a suppressed firearm. And I'm really looking forward to it. I know that uh, the gun is on big time, but I also know that it is not going to shoot like a supersonic rifle. My ranges are gonna be short, but that's okay. We're in the East Texas Piney Woods. The place is loaded with feral hogs. And we're gonna see if we can show you what this will do the East Texas Barrel Hog. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Gamma Precision Air Rifles, Glock, Oil Field Camel, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, Beyond 99%, and Heartcraft Hunting Products. Watch The High Road in HD at KeithWarren.net. is really swirling like crazy. I mean, and I don't know if you've ever hunted wind or not in timber, but it really gives you a lot of fit. So we're gonna try to stay in some open country. Eliminate our sound as best as possible. 
seeing some open country. We got about an hour and a half before dark. And uh, although I know that this savage rifle shoots like a, well, it shoots like a savage rifle. That doesn't surprise me, but what surprises me, the fact that they have put the suppressor inside this sleeve right here have not affected the accuracy at all. And now I'm just hopeful that we can get uh, uh, we can get close enough to a pig, but we're gonna have to take a chance and uh, kind of stay in some open spots because of the wind. Here at the ranch, uh, we hunt all different ways. You can hunt pop-up blind, you can stand, you can you know stalk. We have ladder stands, just uh, pretty much however you would like to do it. It's getting to be pig 30 now. Yes, sir. Uh, today the wind's blowing a little bit, and uh, you know the hog senses they're they're pretty sharp. They uh, they smell good, they hear real good. And today Keith's going to try to do a spot and stalk hunt, and uh, with the wind blowing, uh, he's got his work cut out for him. Well, when you're on a stalk hunt, you know, you really need to pay attention to your scent control. Uh, you have to have the wind right, the wind has to be blowing in your face, and you have to be extremely quiet. The wind is starting to stabilize, at least coming out of one direction instead of four directions. This is unbelievable. How is that? A model 10 Savage in 308 caliber? I'm telling you what, the pigs, they have no idea. I mean, I'm sitting here, I sprayed down, the wind is going everywhere. Now, Billy has got more pigs out here than you can shake a stick at. He's the guy who runs this place out here. This is a half hour from the Houston Intercontinental Airport. I don't know if you can hear that. There are pigs over here squealing. Anyway, half hour from the Houston Intercontinental Airport, he has the most smoking deal on pig hunts you could ever imagine. So, anyway, we got about an hour before dark and I think the pigs are in bad trouble. Now, okay, I'm all about shot placement and any ethical hunter is about shot placement. When you're shooting a, suppress, a suppressed rifle, it's especially important for proper shot placement. And if you take a look right here, that right behind the ear, that is a perfect shot. This guy right here, take a look at the shot placement on him. Absolutely the same thing, right in the brain. And so what happens is that it kills them quickly and ethically. Okay, this is a Savage Model 10 308. It's been customized by my friends over at Dark Horse Arms. And those guys wound up put a uh, suppressed barrel on here. And actually this is a sleeve on top of the barrel uh, that came with the Savage rifle. But anyway, it's an absolutely incredible piece of equipment. But the deal is when you're shooting uh, something like this and you're shooting subsonic loads, you need to keep that in mind. Your velocities are gonna be slower so your distance that you're going to shoot is going to be a lot closer and therefore making sure that you have proper shot placement is absolutely paramount but these right here these are two awesome pigs two boar pigs really good and look at the cutters on this one i mean this guy right here look at the cutters on that dude that's good when you come out here 
to Billy's place. He offers packages that are two days long and you get to kill two pigs. So we'll have his telephone number coming up here in a little bit and uh, you can get a hold of him. He's a good guy. Billy's a good man. And uh, we're gonna get these guys taken care of and eat some real good barbecue tonight. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna see if I can get the third little piggy. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Reconix Game Cameras, Savage Arms, Keith Warren's Texas Hidden Springs Ranch, the best value in Texas trophy deer hunting, Grizzly Cartridge Company, and Jardin Consumer Solutions, makers of the Game Saver. Uh, you know it's the piney woods and the woods are real thick and you know the hogs they can they can lay up and you can walk right up on them before you ever see them and uh, it's a challenging hunt. This place is big I mean it's nearly a thousand acres in size it's a typical East Texas piney woods country I mean there's a lot of pine trees a lot of a lot of briars and undergrowth it's uh, really the perfect habitat for hogs and well, once you come out here, you'll see what I'm talking about. Conditions this morning, whoo, you talk about different. I mean, uh, it's cool this morning and it's breezy. I mean, it's really breezy. And so I think the hogs are in trouble. I mean, it's gonna be tough getting in the woods because the wind is gonna shift and swirl and everything just like wind always does. But it's cool. And I have confidence in my rifle and if I get near one now, he's toast. I guess uh, spot and stalk is my favorite way to hunt because you take the game to the animal. I mean, you don't just sit there in ambush like a lot of whitetail hunting and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, for me, I like getting up and moving. I like, uh, it's a little bit more of a challenge too. And so you're not gonna be successful all the time, nope. But when you are successful, it sure makes it feel good. But we gotta walk slow. I mean, uh, whenever you're spotting and stalking, when you think you're going slow, go slower. What I'll wind up doing, I'll try to go as far in as I can on the downwind side and start working my way into the wind. But when all of a sudden I feel the wind shift a little bit, I stop, wait and see if it's changing for a pretty good length of time. If it does, I change and I continue walking in the wind. That doesn't mean walking the same direction the whole time. A hog has got a nose at second to none. I mean, I'll put him right up there with an elk. He's, be he's got a better nose than a whitetail. I'll put it that way. And so if you're not using a scent killer, uh, scent elimination, if you're not hunting the wind, more than likely, you're not gonna be lucky killing a hog. Somebody's in trouble now. No, 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 look at that big one, look at that big one. Get there. Got it, got it, look at that. Look at that, that is a gigantic barrel hog. That's a big one, there's more of them standing right there. They didn't even hear the shot. There's more of them standing right there. That is a freaking beast of a pig right there, my friends. This is the most cool thing to get out here and to be able to, I mean, to be able to do this without making hardly any noise whatsoever. You talk about the ultimate. And now in Texas, thank God, hunting with suppressed equipment is legal for all game. Not just exotics and wild hogs, but big game. This right here is something, my friends, that I have been looking to for a long time. Not only getting my hands on my own suppressed rifle, but to be able to say, this one's mine. <laughs> well, when Keith come out with this suppressed rifle that he's trying out, I was real surprised at how accurate this rifle really is. 
I think it, it, it's as accurate or maybe more accurate than just a regular rifle out of the box. This is absolutely incredible. You know, the you, you always hear about ground shrinkage, you know, especially among deer hunters. They shoot a deer and walk up there and it shrinks. <laughs> There's no ground shrinkage on these hogs. Look at this. Look how long this hog is. This is a standard length rifle. Now, yes, it does have a special barrel on it, but it is a standard length rifle. This pig has got to be uh, uh, five foot long anyway. This is a great big pig, and it fell like a, like a sack of corn. I mean, it died instantly because of proper shot placement. You know, the, the cool thing is about pig hunting that I like about it is that you can do it year round. And Billy's got a really nice place. And, and I knew that when uh, the folks with Dark Horse Arms asked me, they said, uh, would you like to try one of our rifles out? Could we uh, maybe customize one of your rifles for you so you can try it out on a hunt? I was thinking, I thought, well, I'm gonna come here because I know here they've got a ton of hogs. He doesn't mind them being shot. I wanna thank y'all for watching. I wanna encourage you to join the NRA. The NRA is the only organization of its kind that is out there for every gun owner that gives, that's working hard to give you the right to fight for your right that is God given and it's stated in our constitution, but fight for your right to keep and bear arms. So please join the NRA. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Striker Crossbows, Half Power Polaris, Burt Coyotes, Luminock, and Luminaries. Shadow Hunter, your total comfort hunting blind. Elevators, your easy way up. Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center. Beyond 99%. And BSA Optics. Off Power Polaris presents Viewer Feedback. You know, like this one, I just saw your show and was shocked where you were using a Glock handgun. I bet you had a high capacity magazine too. Shame on you, Keith. I think handguns should be illegal as well as those assault rifles. There's no reason anyone should own one. Call the police if you need help. The Second Amendment is about hunting anyway. Please stop using your TV show to promote your crazy gun culture. Sincerely, Lisa from Maryland. Lisa, the Second Amendment is the single amendment that keeps all the other amendments in check. The Second Amendment is not about hunting. It's about our freedom to be able to protect ourselves from bad people. It's not a crazy gun culture. It's a, it's a sane, patriotic culture where the patriots in the country stand up and exercise their Second Amendment rights to protect our country. If you have any questions or comments about the program, you can shoot me an email right off of my website at keithwarren.net. And I'd also like to ask you to become a fan on Facebook. And if you've ever thought about purchasing a Polaris, give my friends over at Hoff Power Polaris a call and you'll find out how come Hoff Power Polaris is one of the top Polaris dealers in the country. so sweet. <laughs> I told you that, that you'd like that gun. Mm -hmm. I love it. 
that was so incredibly ethical. Look at that. The shot placement is absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. Couldn't have been better than that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I am impressed with this rifle mainly. Yeah, that rifle's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll tell you what, it, it doesn't make any noise, does it? No, and it's great for kids. My best friend Megan's never been hunting. She's never shot a gun and she wants to. She's just scared. And now because we're allowed to have suppressed rifles, she can just use this and we can start her out with that. And it's great for other kids, it's great for anyone. And we need to thank the NRA because without their help, we couldn't do this. I couldn't have done this. And it's even more ethical than shooting a rifle, a normal rifle. Well, the thing about it is it, it requires more concentration, more focus. Mm -hmm. You know, you, and, and with, a, with a big gun, you don't have to be that focused. I mean, you've got a big target, but with a suppressed, gun you need to be extremely focused yeah. and that was a perfect shot but it's also a perfect point that you brought up in that the suppressed rifles they're legal here in texas to hunt big game and life is good i love you baby love you too